Now here is how we can stop downloading photos automatically from iCloud to your iPhone. And uh, there are like multiple places in the settings where you can manage it. So I'm going to go through all of them. First of all, open up settings and uh, come here to the uh, photos app. So scroll down and find uh, the photos. You can see right here, iCloud Photos and My Photo Stream. These are the things that you need to have turned off because you can see that it automatically like uh, uploads and uh, safely stores all of your photos to iCloud. So if you have, of course, iCloud Photos enabled, all of the photos from your iPhone and other iPhones are going to be uploaded to iCloud and then downloaded to each device. Then the second option is my photo stream, which is like one month worth of photos and memories, which get synced automatically between your devices. So not at the entire iCloud photos library, only some important moments. I mean, all of the moments from the last 30 days. So you don't have to store all of your photos, only share between your devices the last 30 of them or less 30 days worth of the photos so that's actually really um cool because you don't really want to have it turned on for all the photos you also have shared albums which allows you to share it with other people and some others can add photos and stuff so of course if you don't care about any of that just turn it off as well however one very important thing in here is that this only applies to this specific iphone and in the case that you have multiple iPhones or multiple of them use the same Apple ID, then those iPhone will keep on having the same settings you are left you left them with. That means that these devices will still have and still download, upload iCloud photos unless you turn it off at the iCloud level. So for this, you need to come back to the settings and scroll all the way to the top and click on your name. Once you click on your name, then consider and I mean, then continue with the iCloud. And here you can see you have the option of photos. You can, of course, see which type of files take up your iCloud storage and stuff. So click on photos in here and you can see that I have the uh, everything turned off. This applies to the entire Apple ID because we are at the Apple ID level and my photo stream is turned off in here and sync this iPhone is disabled as well. So you can see photos, everything is turned off. I mean, that means that I do not care about iCloud uploading, downloading anything and nothing really affects me. So no sharing albums, no photo stream of 30 days or no photos at all. You need to have all of these things turned off, disabled, and you will not have the problem anymore. No random photos from your iCloud are going to be downloaded to your photos app automatically without you deciding or clicking on download. Of course, the important thing to know is that if you have the basic plan of five gigabytes just like i do then it doesn't even make sense to store photos on icloud because it's going to be really complicated and you're not going to fit a lot of stuff in there so if you want to store some photos you need to uh, at least pay for the 50 gigabytes if not more to store your files there safely and to make sure that everything actually fits there so this would be it hope the video helped you out for more content Make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech and check out the next video about iCloud photos, which I think that you should definitely go ahead and take a look at because it's just going to help you uh, help you out. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.